Let's dive into the fascinating world of cellular metabolism and unpack the Randall cycle. Think of it as a metabolic tango, a delicate dance between two fuel sources, glucose and fatty acids. When glucose takes center stage after a carb-laden meal, fatty acids retreat, their metabolism taking a back seat. Conversely, when glucose levels dwindle, fatty acids waltz into the spotlight, providing the energy we need. The Randall cycle ensures that our bodies have a constant supply of energy, even when our dietary habits fluctuate. The Randall cycle? Sounds like some dusty old concept, right? Wrong. Sir Philip Randall, the brilliant mind behind this metabolic marvel, was anything but an ivory tower academic. This British biochemist, knighted for his contributions to science, unveiled the elegant interplay between glucose and fatty acid metabolism. His groundbreaking work, published in, in 1963, revolutionized our understanding of how our bodies utilize fuel. The Randall cycle is a legacy of scientific rigor and a profound understanding of human metabolism. Let's zoom in on the cellular level, where the real action of the Randall cycle unfolds. Picture a bustling city with glucose and fatty acids vying for dominance. When we consume carbohydrates, our digestive system breaks them down into glucose, triggering the release of insulin. Insulin acts like a key, allowing glucose to enter cells and be broken down to produce ATP. This process, known as glycolysis, takes precedence when glucose is abundant. When glucose levels decline, our bodies tap into alternative fuel sources like fatty acids. Fatty acids undergo beta oxidation, breaking down into smaller molecules that generate ATP. When fatty acids are broken down at a high rate, they produce molecules that inhibit glycolysis. This ensures that when fatty acids are abundant, glucose is conserved and vice versa. It's a cellular tug of war, ensuring a steady supply of energy regardless of dietary choices. The Randall cycle isn't just a dusty old concept, it's a living, breathing principle with profound implications for our metabolic health. The Randall cycle has enjoyed a resurgence of attention, becoming a hot topic in nutrition and metabolism research. Scientists are uncovering its role in health conditions like obesity, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease and cancer. The Randall cycle is the foundation of our metabolic flexibility, our body's ability to switch between burning glucose and fat for fuel. Sometimes, the elegant metabolic tango can devolve into a metabolic mosh pit, a state known as metabolic inflexibility. Instead of seamlessly switching between glucose and fatty acid oxidation, our bodies get stuck, preferring one fuel source over the other. Modern diets and lifestyles with a constant influx of refined carbohydrates force our cells into a glucose-guzzling frenzy. Over time, our cells become less adept at utilizing fatty acids for fuel leading to metabolic inflexibility. This inflexibility is a hallmark of many chronic diseases, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Let's bring this concept down to earth with some real-world examples. Imagine a marathon runner hitting the pavement mile after mile. As their glycogen stores dwindle, the Randall cycle shifts their metabolism towards greater reliance on fat oxidation. This metabolic shift is essential for endurance performance, allowing athletes to conserve glycogen and keep going. On the flip side, imagine someone leading a sedentary lifestyle, glued to their desk and fueling their body with processed carbohydrates. Their cells, accustomed to a glucose feast, become sluggish at burning fat. This metabolic inflexibility can contribute to weight gain, insulin resistance, and an increased risk of chronic disease. Let's address the claim that muscle glycogen cannot be depleted. Muscle glycogen isn't a bottomless energy reservoir. It's more akin to a fuel tank with a finite capacity. Just like any fuel tank, it can and does become depleted, especially during intense physical activity. Think of it as embarking on a cross-country road trip with a single tank of gas. Eventually, that fuel gauge will dip towards empty, 
and those optimistic pronouncements about limitless energy will fall flat. Understanding the limits of our glycogen stores is crucial, especially for those engaging in regular physical activity. Scientists have gone to great lengths to measure glycogen levels directly. They delve into the depths of our muscles with needles conducting muscle biopsies. By extracting tiny samples of muscle tissue, they can analyze the glycogen content with remarkable precision. Their findings consistently show that muscle glycogen levels plummet during prolonged or intense exercise. The extent of the depletion depends on factors such as the duration and intensity of the activity, as well as the individual's training status and carbohydrate intake. Muscle biopsies provide concrete evidence that muscle glycogen is not an infinite fuel source. Now, some might argue, ah, but what about gluconeogenesis? Doesn't our body simply make glucose from other sources when glycogen stores run low? Well, yes. Gluconeogenesis, the process of creating glucose from non-carbohydrate precursors like amino acids, does play a role in maintaining blood sugar levels, especially during fasting. However, and this is a crucial point, gluconeogenesis is a relatively slow and metabolically expensive process. It's like trying to replenish a depleted warehouse using a fleet of bicycles. It works eventually, but it's not exactly the most efficient system, especially when demand is high. During intense exercise, the rate of glycogen depletion far outpaces the rate at which gluconeogenesis can replenish it. So, while gluconeogenesis helps prevent a complete metabolic meltdown, it's not a quick fix for depleted glycogen stores. Introducing Beef Up Carnival Bodybuilding Bible. 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 The ultimate guide for men and women to lose fat and build muscle. And the best part, it's only $12. Don't miss out on the most detailed resource available. Get your copy now at compositionconsultant.com. Build muscle and lose fat on the carnivore diet.